So we, we had a very busy schedule every day. Uh, we've been here for five, six days. Uh, the three first days, it was the conference. So we went to the Ritz uh, here in, in Riyadh. We came by invitation of the government for three conference days and we had two days exploring the city. I think the conference was an excellent opportunity to invite youth and students from all over the world to add their input to tourism, especially sustainable tourism. There were was, there was so many insights in the talks that really helped me further develop my, my, my worldview and my, my outlook on life in terms of sustainability. Well, I was able to meet Jeffrey Lipman, the former WTTC president. I was able to have a conversation with Lindiwe Susulu, the, the Minister of Tourism from South Africa. And just to hear a bit about not just their work, but their lives and, and how challenging, yet at the same time how rewarding it is to work in government and serve your country. The tip of the iceberg was uh, all the super influential, important people here who without exception, I would say, we're always happy to take the time to talk with the students, um, always happy to, to hear that we came from Spain, from IE, um, taking pictures with us, connecting with us. You can tell that they are very, very keen on promoting tourism, but not only uh, the traditional tourism, but sustainable tourism, that was the whole point of, of this conference and they're all very enthusiastic in, in showing their culture, showing their heritage. Uh, uh, they, they want to make sure that we have the best time here in their country. I really enjoyed the fact that they didn't just bring us here to be part of a conference, but to also have a cultural experience in Saudi. It was really lovely because we also got to learn the historical aspect and how Saudi Arabia became a state and how Saudi Arabia is now. We had so many events and tours and really one thing was just building on another. There was always more and more and more. Um, one thing better than the next. Um, we went camel riding, we, um, we visited the, the heritage sites, um, went, to, went to see the, the horses uh, they, they breed here. Um, so also experiences that are probably not not open to to everybody the food was amazing and the people were even better enriching your your cultural experience like that is probably one of the greatest things um, that i that i got from this journey um, and also as well of course the amazing connections i was able to make here i think it's it's very crucial for an international relations students to open their mind and be open open-minded accept and know about the cultures that we have around the world. Um, people here are so welcoming, so lovely. The hospitality is amazing. The world is so small and yet you still meet people that are somehow related to you. This is a country that's been closed for 79 years. So just having the privilege to come and be a part of what's happening here and see the natural riches that this country has to offer was an honor. So I think it's very important to see like the the path the world is taking in tourism because uh, as we know uh, tourism is very important you know for for all the countries and not only for the economies but also for their relations and to see that countries are really advocated in changing the way of tourism and turning it into a sustainable one um, I was really really surprised to see how, what, an, what an amazing country Saudi Arabia is. In a general sense, I would uh, highlight all the, all the talks. They were really, really interesting. The restaurants, the food was really good. The hospitality of the people was really good. So yeah, I, I mean, I would highlight the whole trip. <laughs>